Hello dear do-it-yourself fans, my name is Vanbo and I'm gonna show you how to build a design piece, a table lamp on your own. This one is inspired by Bauhaus, check this out. Light was a central topic for the Bauhaus design movement, a school established in 1919 in a small German town called Weimar. That's why we're gonna make a DIY lamp today. And it's made of everyday objects like this can and this paper cup. Can you imagine making a lamp out of these? Let's do it. You will need a metal rod, an LED bulb with a socket, a strain relief fitting, a paper cup, a can, a piece of thick paper, and a power cable with a switch. Get these tools to start working. These additional tools and materials are also needed. Let's start with the stand. Seal one end of the metal pipe with tape. Using a funnel, Fill the pipe with salt and seal the other end. This will prevent the pipe from cracking when bending it. Use one hand to hold the pipe firmly against an upside down bowl. Use your other hand to slowly bend the pipe around the bowl until it crosses over itself. Now bend the straight section of the pipe upwards until it is vertical. Finally, bend the end slightly down to the desired angle for the lampshade like this. Let's get rid of the salt. If you wish, you can cut the excess straight section of the pipe at the base. If inexperienced with a saw, I recommend using a clamp to secure the pipe to the workbench. Finally, use sandpaper to smooth the sharp edges. Now we're going to create the lampshade. Place the light socket on the base of the metal tin and trace around it. Same thing on the paper cup. Using a knife or box cutter, cut out the circle. For the tin, we'll use a small drill bit and drill several small holes around the circle. Then use a knife to cut the metal between the holes. Be careful and use a gentle rocking motion to safely cut the metal. Mark halfway along the length of the can and drill a small hole. Then enlarge it with a bigger drill bit. We need to fix the screw ring to our socket firmly. Apply quick drying glue approximately 1 cm from the edge and thread the screw ring onto the glue. Now put the socket through the hole in the can so the screw ring is on the inside of the can. Then place the paper cup over the socket and use the second screw ring to secure all three pieces firmly together. Take the strain relief fitting and if necessary, use the sandpaper to grind down the edges so it will fit snugly into the metal pipe. Then apply quick drying glue to it and put it inside the metal can. Now we can feed the cable through the metal pipe. Apply glue to the end of the fitting and slide it into the pipe. Hold firmly in place until the glue dries. Let's move on to connecting the cable to the light socket. Connect the exposed wire ends to the socket screws and tighten the strain relief screw on the fitting so the cables won't wiggle around. To close the back, we'll cut a circle out of the thick paper and glue it to the inside of the metal can. Now, we're going to give our lamp a paint job. Use sandpaper to roughen the surface of the can and pipe so the paint will stick. Lay down a protective surface and be sure to do this in a well-ventilated area. Use a spray can to apply an even coat of paint. Let it dry. Finally, we just need to screw in the light bulb. Be sure to use an LED lamp to ensure the paper cup doesn't get too hot. Plug in and turn on. In the 1920s, electricity became more and more available to households. As Baus designers tried to improve everyday life, they also came up with various lamp designs. And one of these was our inspiration for the table lamp.
Light was also very important for the Bauhaus design movement on a philosophical level. They wanted to leave the dark times of the First World War behind and enter into a bright new future. From urban planning to education, from art to design, light was at the core of the Bauhaus design philosophy. So now it's your turn. Bring some light into your environment and create your own tableland. Bling.